Okay, so if you're going abroad and using a traditional carrier for your data, such as T-Mobile or Verizon, then I'm sorry to break it to you, but you're probably being ripped off. I just got back from Switzerland and by skipping my expensive carrier, I saved a ton of money. I got this eSIM from Jetpack. It covers nearly 30 countries for 30 days, comes with 20 gigabytes of data, and get this, it only costs $16. So in today's video, we're diving into Jetpack. We'll look at what makes them different from other providers, including a feature that gives you free lounge access. And we'll also look at their prices and how they compare to popular providers like Eralo. But first, we need to test their speeds because let's be real, what use is an eSIM if it's painfully slow? Okay, so I'm right now in the French Alps, but I actually flew into Geneva, so I came through Switzerland, and the speeds I received there were pretty fast, roughly 100 to 150 megabits per second, with surprisingly good upload, which is quite rare with eSIMs. Usually this can be really slow, but what impressed me the most with this Jetpack eSIM, and this was something I thought would be an issue, as soon as I crossed the border into France, it automatically connected to a French network and there were no delays, no downtime, and no slow speeds. And reliability when crossing into new countries is obviously going to be important to you if you're using a regional eSIM. And with Jetpack, that wasn't a problem. Now, since being in France, I've had some very interesting results. Firstly, in remote areas, it's been fantastic. So high up in the mountains and by this lake, I had speeds of around 170 megabits per second, and incredibly an upload speed of almost 40 which is possibly the highest I've ever clocked with an eSIM. Now, back at the chalet where I'm currently staying, I'd normally try to use the Wi-Fi to save on data, and I would obviously encourage you to do that as well, but annoyingly, it's been awful. It's very slow, and because I'm traveling for work, I've tried to call home, which is obviously very important to me, but it won't let me connect to WhatsApp or FaceTime, but instead, I've been using the Jetpack eSIM, and it's been a real lifesaver. Speeds are much faster, it doesn't randomly disconnect like the Wi-Fi, <laughs> And obviously, and most importantly, I can now use it to video call my family. So my European regional eSIM has served me really well, and we'll talk about price shortly and how Jetpack compares to providers like Aerolo. But I paid just $16, got 20 gigabytes, and it covers almost 30 countries, which is incredible value for money. And I definitely didn't need 20 gigabytes. Like, that was overkill for just three days but it was hard to resist when it was so cheap. Now, this is going to sound a bit weird, okay? But I really wanted my flight back to the UK to be delayed, and hopefully for over an hour, because then we would have been able to test smart delay. And this is potentially one of my favorite features of any eSIM provider, because it's giving you so much potential value and at no extra charge. If your flight is delayed, which these days is probably very likely, then you'll get access to a lounge for free. All you have to do is register your flight in app, so enter some details, and if you're delayed, then Jetpack will issue you with a pass. Then you can relax while waiting for your flight, get some free food and drink, and basically have a comfier place to sit. And this feature is included with any eSIM you buy. So for as little as $1, you could get access to a lounge, which would normally cost around $35. Obviously, your flight has to be delayed, but as perks go, that's pretty damn good. Unfortunately, like I said earlier, I wasn't actually able to test it, but now we're back in the UK, we do get to test their speeds here. Okay, so I've managed to find possibly the most remote location I've ever tested an eSIM. In fact, I, I don't really know where I am, except I'm in the middle of nowhere. I just, I walked for a while and ended up here, and there's actually this cannon behind me that just keeps randomly going off. Jesus. Anyway, I, I do have coverage here. The speeds are okay. They're actually the lowest I've clocked with Jetpack so far at around 15 to 20 megabits per second. But the upload speed, like France, is quite high. So considering I'm in the middle of nowhere, I'm still quite happy with this. Now, the main reason this eSIM is performing so well is because it has access to lots of networks. And this is really important because traditional SIM cards and unfortunately many eSIMs are tied to only one. So if you're somewhere like this, you know, it's pretty remote and that network has no coverage, then you're basically screwed. And this can happen with a lot of providers. Take this UK eSIM from Eralo, it only has access to one. So if you're in a location where it's unavailable, then your speeds, well, they won't vary, they'll just not exist. Jetpack in the UK, France, and Switzerland can access multiple networks. And that's why up in the mountains or at my chalet or 
even here in the countryside, the speeds have been good because the eSIM has choice and it connects to the network with the strongest signal. So please bear that in mind next time you choose yours because if you're not careful, you could end up with just one network and that might mean weak coverage or worse, no signal at all. So the speeds for this European eSIM have been fantastic, particularly the faster upload, which for me is quite important because I make videos for a living, so I'm constantly uploading large files. And as you can imagine, during testing, this meant I was using a lot of data. And to keep an eye on my usage, I would check the app, but also Jetpack sent me notifications, which I do think are a useful way just to make sure you don't get blindsided by suddenly running out of data. The first notification, and I don't think I've ever received one for this, was actually a message to say that the eSIM had been installed. There's direct installation, so you just tap install inside the app and it will take you through a guide before beginning and in just a few taps, you should be set up. And the best thing is you only have to do this once because with Jetpack, when you buy a new plan, it's assigned to your already installed eSIM. And what's shocking to me is that a lot of providers don't have this. And unless you're topping up an already installed eSIM, you actually have to go through the process every time you buy a new one. So if you're thinking about getting an eSIM from Jetpack, we do have a coupon, it's in the description box below with an affiliate link. So if you'd like to support myself and the channel, then please consider using it. And if you're not entirely convinced or you're skeptical about eSIMs, then just check out their one for one offer. You can get any plan, and this includes global, for just one dollar. Now you only get one gigabyte, but this is a great way to test them out. You can go through the installation, check the speeds, and then if you're happy, just top up inside the app. That $1 offer also unlocks Smart Delay and even a 30-day trial with ExpressVPN, which might not sound that appealing, especially if you're familiar with Express because they're always giving away freebies, but this doesn't require a credit card to redeem. So you don't have to worry about being charged at the end of the 30 days and you can install the VPN on as many devices as you want and use it while you travel. Obviously a VPN trial isn't as valuable as a lounge pass, but it is actually a pretty useful feature. And you can get these two perks for just $1 dollar or the price of any Jetpack eSIM. And like I mentioned earlier, their prices are really good. Now, firstly, I want to look at how they compare to Eralo, who have a reputation of being one of the cheapest out there. But when compared to Jetpack, that just isn't the case. If we look at Europe, Jetpack is actually cheaper per gigabyte. Although their regional eSIM covers less countries, it does have more networks, which tells us that we're more likely to get better coverage and speeds. In the Caribbean and Latin America, Jetpack again is more competitive with better pricing per gigabyte and far larger data bundles. In Asia, Jetpack actually has more regional choices. There are two available, Southeast and Asia Pacific, and they're cheaper per gigabyte. This is also the same case for North America, the Middle East and North Africa, as well as globally. Although they do have slightly less coverage and networks when you go global, and you also might notice that they only go up to 30 days. And this is the case for all of their eSIMs. So Eralo could be the better choice for longer trips or if you travel frequently to the same places because you could just get an eSIM like this one that lasts 180 days and then just turn it on whenever you need it, except that would be a horrible idea and you'd be far better off choosing JetFlex or JetPro. So these are two subscription services made specifically for frequent travelers. These plans have global coverage and with Flex, you get the choice of five or 10 gigabytes and you either pay monthly or quarterly. You also get Smart Delay and ExpressVPN, but if you're interested in more, then Pro gives you seven gigs per month and on top of that, you get two lounge passes and two fast track passes, which if you were to buy individually would cost you around $82. And you also don't have to think about topping up or buying eSIMs whenever you travel because this is a monthly service, so it just reoccurs. And I can see what Jetpack are doing here. Firstly, this is entirely unique. So it's a great way to differentiate themselves from other providers, but they're also finding ways to appeal to regular travelers beyond just providing cheap data. The added value of lounge access and fast track are a good reason to go for this. And while there is a three month commitment, it's not like normal carriers don't make us commit. In fact, in the UK, major networks like EE and O2 try to tie you into 24 month contracts. And this is just three months and you get a lot of value and a great deal on data. 
So whether you're looking for a one-off eSIM with low data or you're a frequent traveler and a heavy user, the prices are very competitive and they're hard to criticize. In fact, I'm struggling to find anything bad to say and this includes their customer service, which for eSIM providers is typically pretty poor. But I tested their email, web and in-app chat as well as WhatsApp and they got back to me very quickly. They also get a lot of love on Trustpilot with comments on reliability and value for money and there are only a few complaints about slow support. Otherwise, I'm honestly really impressed. Whether you're looking for a one-off eSIM for a quick trip or something more complete like their subscription service, Jetpack definitely offers a lot of value. They have great regional coverage, access to lots of networks, very competitive pricing and some great added perks. I mean, the fact you get smart delay with your eSIM is such a standout feature and there's no other provider offering this right now. So for me, Jetpack has definitely earned their place as one of the best eSIM providers on the market. But if you're still unsure, just try out their $1 plan, which is a great way just to dip your toes into the eSIM market without any risk. I hope you found the video useful and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.